guys, it's Christina. I'm here finally with my summer favorites. And yes, I can still put up because technically the first day of fall is September 22nd. So I just wait until the last minute like I normally do as I procrastinate all the time. Okay, so I am here finally with this video and it was this is actually my second try of filming it because the first try um the video looked horrible. So this is my second time filming this last minute. Yay. I'm I'm great at this already. So I'm going to start with my I don't know why that I've been sick a few days. I'm sorry. My hair is still naughty. Okay. So I'm going to start with my makeup favorites for the summer. Basically what I was always wearing this summer for my uh, foundation and I'm still wearing it now because of the fact that I'm just going to keep using it until I run out. And that is... It's away from me. BB cream. I actually liked... I like BB cream. Because it's very thin and I live in the south, Louisiana to be specific, so it's very hot, very humid, and I already have really large pore skin, like right here, I get really large pores, so um, if I use foundation by like after a few hours, I, it looks like I have dots in my, you know, on my cheeks, so I just, I don't really like foundation. But I ended up really liking BB creams, and so for my high-end BB cream, it was the Tarte BB Tinted Treatment 12-Hour Primer. And then for, uh, like, drugstore, I used the Physician's Formula Super BB. They look like that. And um, both of them were in their lightest formulas that they offered, and I like them. They just cover my skin pretty well. And they stay on pretty much the whole day, but if I wanted them to stay even better, like I was actually going somewhere where it was going to be outdoors all day, so I wanted it to stay on, I would use a um, primer, and this is the Sephora primer. I don't even know if they still make this one. It's like really old. I am horrible at this. Okay, there we go. It's like one of their older ones. It's the Sephora Base Perfecting Ultra Smoothing Primer, and I like it. And I hope they still make it, but it's okay because I've still got a whole lot left because a little goes a long way with this product. And so far, if you, still, if you don't make this anymore, shame on you. It's actually really good and I like it. So yes, that one. For concealer, I hate concealer. I'm pretty much, I give up with concealers because they severely crease under my eyes or they just look really bad on me. So I never wear concealer. But I found one that I actually like, because I do get dark circles, uh, you probably can see them right now because I'm not wearing concealer. Funny I'm talking about this, is my favorite concealer, I'm not even wearing it right now. Because I just didn't feel like it, and it's the Neutrogena, the Neutrogena Healthy Skin 3-in-1 Concealer for Eyes. And it's a concealer, an eye cream, and a sun protectant. And it comes like this, I know they still make this because I did buy it this summer actually. And can you read it? Can you read it? Is it gonna let me let you read it? No, it's not, but it, it says Neutrogena Healthy Skin 3-in-1 Eye Stuff. Concealer for eyes. And I like it, and it actually works, and it doesn't crease under your eyes. I didn't really notice anything with my eye, like eye cream or anything. I just know that I like this. I'm going to talk really loud now because she just flushed the toilet. It sounds really funny. Our toilet sounds possessed by a demon. For bronzer, I wore it like basically every day. And sadly it doesn't look like I wore it every day, but I wore this every day. It just lasts forever. And it's the um, Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. Yes, is that name right? And they're light to medium. So it looks like that. I, you can tell it's been used, but it looks like that and then on the other side it comes with a little brush you know I don't use the brush but it's actually a really soft brush I just don't like to use it here because it makes really sharp lines but um, other than that it's a really good little formula I like it it's a powder base so and it actually does come out good looking on my skin I just I like it and I'm not really big on bronzer except for that one 
on my eyes. You've probably seen it before because I did buy it back in like May, Mayish, and I know I've used it like on all my tutorials since May. You know that's not been a lot. I'm sorry, but uh, yeah, I got busy and such. And it's the Naked Two palette. It's upside down. No, it's not. I'm just stupid. Naked Two palette. It, it it doesn't even look like it's been used. But I swear, I use my palettes daily. I apparently just don't use a lot of them. But yes, I love this. Um, blackout. Um. Half baked and teas and booty call. Those are the four colors I use the most out of here. Other really used colors are um, Chopper and uh, the YDK. So there are two little pink letters right there. Anyway, I just use this palette daily for everything. I worked a wedding and I used that palette on the bride and the maid of honor. I just really liked that palette and I, so I used it a lot and a lot and a lot. I just liked it. Okay, eyeliner! My favorites, actually they last me hours. I would wear them all day and then have to sit there and scrub to get them off because they just don't want to come off. And it's the Maybelline Eye Studio. I have two of them because this one is blackest black. See, now this one you can see how much I use it. That is my everyday eyeliner. I like it a lot. Blackest black. And then this one is just named brown. It's not used as much, but it is used. There we go. Yeah, it's used. What I like to do is... um. Like one day I will use, I'm going to hold out my nasty brush now, I'm sorry. This is the nasty brush. Now what I do is I use the blackest black one day. And I do not wash it off. Y'all are probably disgusted by that. But then next day I use the brown, I put it in using the same brush. And then I put on and it makes this really dark, like chocolate, coffee-ish just this really pretty dark color and that's what I like to use so it's like that's how I use the brown but yeah so I like them they last me for hours and they look pretty and again I used them on the wedding and they were, looked really good using the brown on the bride and the maid of honor so yay for my mascara I just dropped it I caught it and it's the Maybelline Falsies Flared, I think. Yeah. The waterproof falsies flared formula thing. And its brush looks like this. Now, I'm actually not a big mascara person. I never really liked wearing it, but I needed one for the wedding anyway. So, what I did was I picked this up with extra um, two wands. I used on the bride and the maid of honor. I thought, hey, it looks pretty, so I tried it on me, and then I ended up actually liking it. Eyebrows! I use Maybelline! <laughs> I think everyone's figured out that I like Maybelline on my eyes. Um, but this is what I use for the actual brows, like here, pencil wise. And it's the Master Shape by the Eye Studio. So the same brand thing collection that this comes from is what this comes from. And now I'm just going to get really close to the screen because it's easier. And this is in their Deep Brown. And it's basically a pencil on one side, a spoolie on the other. And if you want to see how I do my eyebrows using this product and this one together, click down below in the description bar because I've already put out my in-depth brow tutorial where I show grooming and um, products that I use and how I do it. So go click that video. Yay, random advertisement. The other favorite for my eyebrows is actually my brow setting gel, which is this by Maybelline, and it's their Great Lash Transparent, Clear, whatever you want to call it. It's just like, I use it for a set gel, and its wand looks like that. Dang, my hand is white. That was unhelpful. Is that bad? No, that's whiter. Oh my god, I have such white hands. Wrists, whatever. And the, but anyway, it's okay because the brush is actually starting to look a little nasty from always getting used. But I like this, and it looks 
And it, I find that it holds my brows in place very well. So I just use it. It's great. Yay! The last thing on my face, makeup wise, is lips. And for lip balm, I actually used it for a while and I stopped using it just because I lost it. I'm really bad with chapstick, I lose them all the time. But, so then I tried other brands and literally the other brands made my lips bleed and chap badly. So apparently I just have really sensitive, over sensitive lips to go with my very sensitive face. So instead I use only one chapstick because I went back to it and immediately after I used it once my lips healed up. And that's the EOS, EOS Evolution of Smooth. I dropped it again. And um, yeah, this is my second one. Because I have two, one night, and both of them look like this because I use them all the time. I only just sit there and I'll put it on. I like them a lot. They work. I get it in the mint one because I just like the smell of mint. So yes. EOS little egg thingy. The only thing I don't like is the fact that it's an egg thingy because it makes it hard to carry. You can't put it in my pocket. Then, actually, this is what's always in my purse, is this thingy. And what it is, is actually, it's used to hold cotton swabs, and I do put cotton swabs in it, but also, at the same time, that's one of my cotton swabs. It's holding my lip products for the day, and it, I kept it like that so I could take out the lip products and interchange them, depending on what I want to wear, but the whole summer, I just kept in this one duo. It's actually on my lips right now. And it's this. This is by Rimmel London. I actually don't like Rimmel London products except this. And it's the Rimmel Kate line. And it's 105. It's one of their, it's a mauve color. It looks like this. I'm wearing it on my lips right now so I don't have to swatch it. But um, it's a very pretty color. It has a very slight shimmer. It's basically my natural lip color. Like maybe a shade, shade, tinge darker. So I like it, and then to go over it, if you buy a Naked 2 palette, it comes with this little lip gloss thing. So I just, I use it, and also look at that top. I've always liked the top. So yeah, that's another favorite of mine. And I just keep them in my purse all the time in this little thing, and it clamps shut like that. It doesn't click. I was expecting it to click. I always expect it to click, and never clicks. But yeah, it looks like that. And I always have it in my purse. And I can just put it on throughout the day. Alright. Other favorites. Random favorites. Whatever you want to call it. I, it's going to be in its own video. Um, I had a severe allergic reaction a week ago. And um, my entire face swelled up. I was in the doctor's. But... Again, it's going to be its own video. I'll explain all of that in a different video. Um, when my skin starts to heal, this part of my face, all the way, like, all where I'm touching, became scaly, like, literally scaly, where I couldn't put any makeup products on it at all, so I had to go an entire week. I couldn't touch anything from my, any makeup products, not even, like, tinted moisturizer because it would settle in the cracks. So... I've actually been using this product for years now, but it's now in my summer favorites video because of the fact that it's the reason why my skin is now completely back to normal and I can put products on it. Like, if anything, it's only a little dry in this little spot right here. But other than that, my skin's back to normal, and it's this. The Eucerin... There we go. Everyday Protection for Sensitive Skin. I got it because I have rosacea, and it works really well. And I've always used it, but now it's now in my favorites because it got my nose and my cheeks back to normal. So, I like it because it worked and it healed that. And that video will be out later, sometime later. Not this week or next, probably not even next week, probably the week after that. Because everyone knows I'm horrible when it comes to putting videos up. And it's not the filming of videos. I'm fine when it comes to filming videos. It's that I have a really, really slow, stupid computer. If you don't understand how, what I mean when I say I have a slow, stupid computer, it's right here. It's right here. Look at it. Yeah. This is my stupid computer, and it's an e-machines. 
I bet all of y'all don't even know there was a brand called He Machines. That's how dumb this computer is. It's three years over a warranty. I don't like it. But um, the reason I don't put videos up a lot is that I do all my editing on this really slow computer. So I don't want to put videos up because the editing takes me forever. So um, like, but I'm thinking of putting like more videos out soon because the hard drive on this thing is failing. And I have a lot of raw footage that I haven't gotten to editing before. So because it's hard drive is failing, I'm just going to be quickly like making videos and just putting them out there so that I don't lose that footage before it completely crashes and it's it's like on its last leg. So we're going to see how this goes. Okay, guys? Yeah. All right. Back to the favorites. The Bath & Body Works Antibacterial Deep Cleansing Hand Soap and Island Bamboo. I have another favorite. It's not with me right now because I lost it. I don't know where it is, but it's the exact same thing, but its scent is Caribbean Escape, and instead of being green bee jelly stuff, it's pink, and I like it, and it smells delicious. That one, it smells like coconuts and such, and that's my overall favorite, but again, I lost it. This one, I don't know how to describe its scent. But it is tropical, that, I can just straight up say that it is tropical and I do really like its smell. I like bamboo if you can't tell. So um, I, it had in its bamboo and I just, I like bamboo. Next random favorite is this. I love silk. I was actually drinking it all summer. Normally it was the Silk Pure Almond vanilla one. But then um... I'm currently doing the original and I just, I really like them and they taste delicious. And um, yeah, I drink them more than regular milk now. I barely touch regular milk. I prefer almond milk now, so. And it has like 50% more calcium than dairy milk, so. Hey, more calcium, stronger bones. Yay! My favorites for fashion. For fashion, basically for summer I wore a lot of skirts and such. I got really into skirts. So um, what you're looking at right now is my long white skirt. It's actually hand-me-down from my grandmother that I then sewed in fabric glue to make it to my size. And it's just flowy, long, cutesy, cool. And I like it. Okay, next favorite of the summer is my long black skirt. Again, another hand-me-down from my grandmother that I again sewed and glued to make it into my own size. And again, it's like really flowy, it's fun to spin in, and I just wore it very often. The next favorite is again a skirt. I'm just going to say now all my favorites for the summer were skirts. Um, and it's just a handkerchief black skirt with multiple layers. It's really comfortable. I wear it all the time. Still do. I love that thing. Next favorite is a green skirt with the two lengths, and I like its colors. This one was not a hand-me-down. I got it at Zita's, which is this little store here in Louisiana, and I like it. Next favorite is my brown short skirt with the multi-lengths. Again, another product from Zita's. Very comfortable, and the only problem I have with it is it's very short, and I'm not into that much short stuff. But it's cool to wear like going to the beach or to the pool because it's a nice swimsuit cover up for me. Alright, shirts. I got really into cutting my own shirts this summer. Um, all of the shirts you see are probably mostly by me. I think they all are. All t-shirts that I cut into new styles. First one you were looking at is actually when I went to London last summer, I got a t-shirt from there, and I cut its back into a braided racer back. And I just wear it all the time. It's very comfortable, very... I like to wear black all year, so this way I can wear black all year. Because my back gets aired. Yay, so I'm not dying of heat. Next favorite is uh, this other black tank top that I, again, I cut it, and I weaved its back. It's very comfortable. Next is my, actually it's still a t-shirt because it's from my college, and um, I just cut it into a boat neck and weaved its back, and I wear it like that. 
actually it's always been my favorite t-shirt but slowly its arms became too small for me so what I did was I cut the arms off of it and I slit its back so that I could wear it again and it's back to being my favorite t-shirt. Shoes favorites. I've always had Toms but my Toms basically after a year of use became so rugged and destroyed that I had to order some new pairs so this is the first new pair that I ordered and they are just a new pair of black ones. These are the Earthwise ones so it's they're all natural, reused, recyclable material. They're very comfortable and those are my everyday shoes. Next is my second pair of Toms. This time I ordered two pairs and this is their vegan zebra zag one. I think that's how you say it. And it's they're just really comfortable. I wear them out a lot. Except when it's really muddy because as you can tell they're light. Last favorite shoes of the month is actually my hiking boots that are handed down from again my grandmother. We're kind of similar sizes and she never wore them. I wear them when I'm doing at work outside or I just don't feel I wanna wear shoes with a big sturdy bottom, like hiking or working. And they're just really, they're very comfortable, they have nice cushion, and yeah. Now on to the unfavorites. Not really unfavorites, someone else calls it an unfavorite. Hmm. I don't know, finding name for your not favorite section is really hard because like all the air gurus have it, and I don't want to take their name for their non-favorite, so um, I think I'll just call it not favorite for this month, for this season, because I do it seasonal, not monthly, because again, stupid computer I don't want to deal with. Anyway, my first not favorite of the summer, sadly, I got it earlier last week, and it is my Tresemme Dry Shampoo Volumizing for Fine Oily Hair. I think my first main problem with it is that I have coarse oily hair. They don't make products for coarse oily hair, and I'm just out of luck. I have stupid hair. My other main problem with it is, um, it smells worse than this. This is hairspray, and I hate the smell of hairspray. But this is the Tresemme, um, Tres 2 Spray Extra Hold. But actually, I like it because it works. Random cool trick that I learned from working in theater and on movie sets and all that is, um, if you don't feel like buying the uh, setting spray, if you take a really good hairspray like this one and you open it up, you shake it, and on your face you're going to go close your eyes, hold your breath, and you're going to go one, two, three, four, and then you hold your breath for a few more minutes, fan your face, and your makeup will stay all day, even if you have like the lights on from a movie set or you're jumping around doing stuff on stage for theater and it stays on, and I use it with my daily makeup too, and it works against the humidity of Louisiana. So that's actually a really cool trick if y'all are interested. But back to the non-favorite is this. Um, it just, it's, it smells worse than hairspray, and I hate the smell of hairspray. I've always have, but I just accept it. But I don't want my dry shampoo to smell that strongly, and I like barely use it because it smells so bad that I kind of choke with it. And I don't really find that it does much. My hair still looks extremely oily and nasty when I use it. So, um, yeah. But I'm okay with the fact that I bought it because it cost me 44 cents. It's probably why I don't, that's probably why it's horrible quality, but it cost me 44 cents. Yay! Discounts. But yes, it's an unfavorite, non-favorite, whatever. It's, I just don't like it. I threw it. Okay, another non-favorite. And it is my Revlon Ultimate Suede Color Stay in 85 Trendsetter. And I'm going to click it up. Wait, I'm going to show you how much I haven't used of it. <laughs> I never use it. I hate it. But the reason I got it was, again, that wedding I was working during the summer, the bride wanted to have red lips with just black liner, kind of like what I'm wearing if my lips were red. And um, so I got this because it was the right shade of red. I wanted blue undertone, but um, it took like five coats of it, 
and it still came off and when it came off it came off with this orangey color and it made her teeth even yellower than they were so um yeah it's not a favorite and I don't like it at all another non-favorite was I never even bought it my sister bought it and left it in my makeup kit so I was like oh it's mine now free makeup no if it's for 44 cents or free it's probably gonna end up in a non-favorite but it is the elf cream eyeliner and the reason I don't like it is I would put it on and I'd actually sit there try to get it to set I'd do the hairspray trick try to get it to set I'd set it with powders and it would still smear off and I'd end up looking either like a panda or a really ugly raccoon yeah I got raccoon eyes from it so I just nope don't touch it nope and um it just sits in here now I use it for theater stuff like to do wrinkles now because even if I don't like a product I'll end up keeping it somehow and putting it to some other use like with this color stay I found a use for it is um, when I'm doing special effect, like, this is my base for when I'm going to be doing bloody gore stuff. I just take it and go, eh, and then I cover it with, like, the actual special effect makeup, and it makes it look even uglier and nastier. I don't think Revlon wanted that product to be used for that, but that's what I use it for. Yay. Okay, guys, that's the end of my summer favorites. I will see you all again at the end of autumn to show you my autumn fall favorites. Thank you guys for watching. Um, some more videos are going to be coming out. I definitely have them. As I said before, I'm going to have to edit them before the computer dies. Um, if you all have any videos that you would like me to do or tags you want to see, just let me know in the comments or PM me or find me on Tumblr or on Twitter. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.